and welcome to MBTV's Property Matters. I'm your host Deepshikha Yadav and today we will be addressing the million dollar question whether to rent or buy a house in Mumbai. While most Indians believe that having your own home is a sign that you are successful, there are many people out there who just cannot afford it. I am not talking about those who belong to the economically weaker section of society, but about many of those who belong to India's huge middle class. Many such people are faced with the question of whether it is better to rent or buy a home. Experts agree that the answer to this question depends on individual circumstances and preferences. Firstly, your financial situation is an important factor to consider when making this decision. Buying a home in Mumbai can be a significant investment due to high down payments, home loan interest rates and other fees. Furthermore, the rate of increase in Mumbai property prices is slow. However, if you can afford these costs, purchasing a home could be a good long-term investment. Renting on the other hand may be more cost-effective and flexible if you are not yet ready to commit to a long-term investment. Secondly, if you stay on rent, there's no stress of home loans on your head. Home loans take a bigger amount of people's investments because there are things like stamp duty, GST, registration, then uh, property taxes, maintenance and insurance. Another important factor to consider when deciding whether to buy or rent a property is rental yield. Rental yield refers to the return on investment achieved through rental income. A healthy rental yield is generally considered to be around 4 to 5 percent. However, in Mumbai, the rental yield is currently around 2 to 2.5 percent. Now let me explain to you the calculation part of it. For example, imagine a 1 BHK worth 1 crores and you are staying on rent in that property. Now every month you are paying 20,000 as rent which means annually the property owner is getting 2.4 lakhs as rent. So if we divide the annual rent of 2.4 lakhs with the property value of 1 crores, we get 2.4% as the rental yield which means the owner of that property is getting only 2.4% of rent annually and you as a tenant are paying only 2.4% rent for that property worth 1 crores. This is a fraction of the cost that you are paying to live in a property. It's less than the interest that you earn in your savings account with a bank. This means that renting a large house in Mumbai may be more affordable than buying one. By choosing to rent, you can invest the money you would have otherwise used for mortgage payments and potentially earn a better return. After saving for 5 to 10 years, you may then be able to afford to purchase your own house. Lastly, your lifestyle, personal preferences and your age are important factors to consider while deciding whether to rent or buy a house in Mumbai. Now you must be thinking how can age play an important role in this scenario? Well, let me explain it to you. For instance, if you are young and currently employed, there may be some uncertainties in your life such as your workplace, whether you will remain in Mumbai or potentially move to another city for work in the next five years or the stability of your income. Additionally, you may be considering starting a business in the future, whether that be in a year, five years or even ten years from now. All of these factors can influence your decision to buy or rent a house in Mumbai. In a city like Mumbai, where it is very expensive to buy even in the suburbs and where the bu buyer has a budgetary constraint, it might make sense for most people to actually live on rent as close as possible to their place of work. This will help them not only save on the expense that is in needed to buy a home in that location but also save a lot on time and they can actually enjoy a good quality of life. What they can keep in mind 
is that if they are planning to stay in Mumbai forever, they can then buy a house, if preferably in an under construction project, in the distant suburbs where they can pay not only the EMI, they can bear the cost of the EMI as well as the rent that they are paying and build up the capital to own that house in probably 10-15 years and then shift at a, at a later date. So whether to buy or rent a house depends purely on your personal needs. If you have the finances, can afford the arrangements and have finalized a place to settle in life, then you can go ahead and buy that house. But from an investment point of view, it is advisable to first identify the location, social infrastructure, price appreciation and rental return. While some people still want to own a home, times have changed and people have become more cautious in their financial decisions. Therefore, some people prefer to rent. Hence, it is advisable to weigh these factors carefully and make a well-informed decision.